Hi. I know your dad. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get this wet. Let me up and up. Look at that. <laughs> Can I see this for a second? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Why wouldn't I do that? Hey! Oh! Can you hear me? I have to commit and do the entire time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Now back to business. You're not wearing your purple sparkly jacket. No, it's just not me. I did it as a fun little thing. I, I actually, I thought I should have brought a top hat, uh, but I couldn't get it in my luggage, so <laughs> I left that part out. So now what the, do we do? Okay. What was the genesis of the show for you? How did it come to, come to light, come to, come to be? Uh, it, it really, for me, it started back when we did a, the concert at Outside Lands up in San Francisco. <laughs> And I mean, uh, the, <laughs> so so we were. I don't know if you're familiar with Outside Lands, but you know they have different areas for different concerts that are going on in this amazing park, Golden Gate Park. And um, right before we were going to start, I looked out, and there was about 200 people out there, 250 people, and uh, I thought, wow, that's amazing. And then we went, and we performed, and you know all we can see is we're looking at our monitors, so, so we're seeing our characters, we're not really seeing the audience. And at the end, when we came, and I started, I felt like I could hear a lot more people. I felt like, oh, that's great, more people are coming. And uh, at the end, I looked out, and there were, not that I knew this at the time, but they told me after, there were 30,000 people out there. And I, I thought, this is unbelievable. Like, they came to watch the Mayhem Band, <laughs> right? Because. I mean, don't tell anybody, but we pre-recorded the songs. <laughs> we can't actually play them. Uh, but we had live mics, so we could speak, and, and we had, you know, we had a show kind of plan to be able to talk in between the sets and the songs. And, um, and so that reaction was unbelievable to me, and I thought, wow, wouldn't that be fun to have the band, because we've never really done much with them, except kind of who they are in these songs or vignettes or, you know, uh, to take them on the road. Let's do a show about the band on the road. And um, and so, I, like I, I said in the room there, I, I pitched that idea and we were, you know, kind of talking about that. And that evolved and then some people changed in the Muppet Studios uh, running it, pitched it again to them. And at that time I found out that Adam and Jeff had pitched something to ABC uh, and then to the Muppet Studios Mom Studio said, you guys should get together and let's see what we can figure out here. So it became kind of a combination of things that I had been developing for the show, things that they had been developing, and um, that's kind of how we got to where we are, you know, we just started writing, having fun. We got along. That was the most important part, is that we got along very quickly, uh, which was just such a great feeling to feel that comfortable with people, you know. Especially when you're writing for Muppets, because they're already established characters, and when you have a new show, the the approach generally is here's come some new characters. So everybody has some sort of they want to they want to own that character and say this is how that character should be, and they trusted in me to kind of be the arbiter at times of oh, maybe we're going a little too far here, you know, or why don't we try this instead? That doesn't feel like uh, Zoot. You know, and it was a fun dance to, to do with them and to enjoy creating. So that's that's it. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Hear what I said? <laughs> Jeff uh, and Adam had said that they envisioned this as like their Mandalorian. Oh yeah. I know, right? Oh, and that they're also starting the MCU, the Muppet Cinematic Universe. I don't know if you heard that as well. I have not heard yet. No, they, they said that um, like if done right, if this show is enjoyable and renewed for a season two, they have a, like a road trip aspect. Um, is there anything you would like to see in future seasons or down the line if this series, when this series is successful? <laughs> So they mentioned that may, maybe a, a road trip road tour kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think I think that would be a lot of fun um, to see them travel and go around the world. 
I mean, in my mind, if it could continue, I think it would then be a European tour, and it would be the South American tour, <laughs> the Asian tour. You know, I just think it would be fun to see them on the road. We've never really seen them on the road. And, there's so much fun, even in, just in the United States, if we started there and we did that idea, those, I love all those really crazy rest stops and uh, um, those tourist attractions like the, the Car Henge, do you guys know that one? <laughs> yep. uh, there are so many great places like that where they could go perform or in a small town. Like I remember years ago we did, um, uh, what's the, not the Indy 500, Maybe it was. Well, one of the racing in Indianapolis, I guess it was Indianapolis, we took the Muppets out there. And uh, we ended up actually doing our part in a cornfield that was outside of it. We weren't actually part of the venue at one point. And people started coming to us, you know? <laughs> and I just always loved that idea that you think they're going to be playing somewhere, but they end up where you don't <laughs> expect it, you know? Uh, so yeah, I would love to see it continue in that way. If we could, yeah. They talked about the music, uh, both originally and covers they had. Uh, and Adam talked about how he didn't really have much music knowledge, but Jeff did. What yeah. was your input on the music, both original and covers? I'm a, I'm a big music person. I love music. And I, I wanted to stay true to our band as much as possible. You know, that's, it's, a, it's tricky because we want to be able to have a voice and entertain younger people as well. You know, the band. If you think about it, or they would be in a sense 70 years old if you really thought about it, you know. But we like to, we don't really talk about their age so much. Um, but so sometimes you can get locked into a period where they feel like they fit. They're a 70s rock band, you know, and peace and love. And, um, but we also have to be able to entertain younger people. And so there may be a great hit song that people go, oh, let's do that because it's really popular and young people love it. And then you go and record it and you go, <laughs> that just doesn't work, unfortunately, you know? So we had to be very specific about what songs we were going to cover so that they work for the, the younger people and for the band and do a new twist on the band, give them a little bit of maybe a new sound because this is a new song. So I love trying to find those songs, you know, and, and what we could do with them to make them cool and fun and feel like the mayhem, but new. Yeah. Um, the, I know the show goes in a little bit, or not maybe not a little bit, but into the My backstories. My crooked. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> what happened? Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, it goes into the backstories of the band. Yeah. Um, so can you, can you talk a little bit about that as much as I know you can't say much but <laughs> yeah. I can tell you what can I tell you I can tell you that they all at some point in the arc of their stories go through a transition of some kind but I I can't tell you if they end up liking the transition or not liking the transition <laughs> but they still retain who they are, even though they may learn something new about themselves. Is that fair? Yes. Not giving it away? <laughs> so, how was the process to mash up Muppets? Where are you from? Brazil. Lovely. So, I need a South American tour, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was the process to mash up the Muppets story with social media? How was it to yeah. mash them up with it? Um, well, you know, again, I don't want to give away too much, but they do come into, they've never experienced it. Right? The, the only, I can tell you, the only member that has a cell phone is Lips. There, <laughs> and there's a reason for all of that as well. So they're not really all tuned into this social media world. So it's a really fun experience to see them go through it, how it works, what it does, how it either reaches people in a good way or bad way again, who knows how that plays out. Um, but uh, it was fun trying to bring these kind of old school characters in. And, and the human characters who are hip to all that stuff are, you know, uh, I think they have fun with having to explain it all 
but it's just, you know, <laughs> just either going right over their heads or it just can't even sink in. It makes makes no sense. You know, I think there's a line like, um, you're like one of those people who still uses their phone to, to call or to, or to talk to people with, you know. Um, so, so, yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, it's in there and it's fun and, and it's fun to see how they try and get into it you know and find their way around it thanks so much has anything changed for you or did you just discover anything playing Dr. Teeth getting to you know make him the center of attention so to speak well uh, not the center of attention I think if anything um, his, his philosophy that we learned I think is that people think of him as the front man and uh, Dr. Teeth in his words you'll see there, there is no you know there is no front man you know we're all the front man <laughs> and they're like it can't be possible you can't all be the front man you know uh, so that I think is humbling for him which I, I like that he doesn't think of himself as the leader um, and there's some backstory things that come out. You know, we, we tried to figure out, um, look at each character and find specific things about each of them and, and, and ask our questions. Where, where did that come from? Where did Dr. Teeth's gold tooth come from? Why is he called the doctor? Uh, so there were some new fun stories that we, that I never knew or thought of about that. And then also I got to put in this thing these guys make fun of me because I get emotional about stuff, you know, certain things that I talk about. So we'd be in a writer's meeting on Zoom and we're talking about some emotional moment. I would get all choked up and they would laugh at me. And, uh, and so they wrote a scene for Dr. Teeth where he gets emotional. <laughs> so we get to see an emotional moment for him, which I really love, you know. So a little piece of me got in there, even though he's not, you know, it's a gym creation, but... Um, yeah, we got to learn some new things. Everybody did. All the guy, all the performers, got to learn something new. I think about these characters. And we're just about out of time. If somebody has a real quick question, we can do one more. Uh, good. Yeah, they, uh, so the actors talked about the sometimes the difficulty of navigating the set because of the way it's set up for the yeah. Muppets. Uh, do you find this? Uh, you're probably used to it by now. But <laughs> was it difficult for you guys to, to sort of uh, get that together and have it gel so quickly? Um, well, I am used to it. You know, I, I've been kind of the coordinator for many years, and I'm kind of the guy who designs the blueprint of, of how the sets work and the flooring. And not just alone, but uh, I'm kind of like this central hub of all these different departments. And one of them is about how are we going to get the performers and humans in the same space. We're always, we've been used to it for years. It's still... Uh, it's still a challenge. It's always a challenge. Every situation is new. Every set is new. Um, but uh, no, I mean, for us, we're good. It's just making sure that they're okay, you know, and that they're comfortable with it. Uh, except for Lily. She's yeah, not yeah, really yeah. great to work with. Yeah. <laughs> she likes to wear green, and it's really awkward. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I have to leave.